Hey babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So y'all, I know I told y'all that I was going to um, post every day of this month, but I ain't gonna lie, your girl <laughs> been chilling with her boo, okay? He came over and you know, we're just chilling, relaxing, and I've been reading a lot of stuff when it comes to crazy, like, you know, overworking and, you know, taking time out to rest, enjoy like friends and family. So that's what I've been trying to do, or that's what I have been doing. Okay, and I've been chilling with my sister and shit, so. Yeah, that's why I didn't post the last two days. So, I'm not going to say, like, I'm going to post every day this month. Because, you know, stuff be popping up. You feel me? So, and plus I be needing to get rest because I work a lot already. So, yeah, I'm going to post frequently. I'm not going to say I'm not going to post every day. Okay, I'll take that back. Okay, but I'm going to do a career and finance reading for you guys at the end of this reading. Okay, but we're going to see what's going on for my collective. Spirit guides of love and light and trust in the mass is my angel turn light. Like, Please protect this deck from any negative energies. Please don't receive clarified messages for my lovely Aquarius. So let's see what's going on. And y'all, of course, every time I use this deck, I have to give y'all a backstory on it. So, you know, pretty intuitive tarot. So, I end up winning a giveaway. This is when I first started doing tarot. I end up winning a giveaway. I used to watch her all the time. And she, her giveaway was a tarot deck. And I say, if I win this giveaway, I'm going to start me a YouTube channel. And that's when I started it. So, y'all going to see like words and shit on these cards. Because, you know, I was practicing tarot when I first got it. And I had to like write down like keywords that describe the card and shit like that to help me understand it. So yeah, but I'll still use this deck. I don't care if it's words all over it. So let's see what's going on for my lovely Aquarius. The spirit guides of love and light and touch the mass is going to be my night. I'm gonna collect these to know. Okay. So we have expecting new beginnings. So some of you guys could end up getting pregnant okay we have staying centered aligning yourself with the universe what else so that's good i feel like you guys are gonna have a healthy pregnancy so if you've been worrying please stop your baby's gonna come out just fine we have fake friends mm. i feel like you have been removing yourself from people that you have to question their motives and shit like that. Somebody could be copying off of you. Oh, I just heard a doppelganger. Uh, we have under spiritual attack. Okay, so it says fighting off negative energies, fighting the spiritual warfare, needing to clear your energy. Okay, I already just shuffled this deck a billion times. It's a habit. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Clarify expecting new beginning. So if you're pregnant, congratulations. Some of you guys need to take a pregnancy test because you probably don't even know that you're pregnant. All I'm seeing here is like you could be um how can I say this? Y'all just got off work, so please excuse me. My mind be going blank sometimes. <laughs> but you could be trying for a baby, that's what I'm gonna say. Clarify expecting new beginning. Some guys could be either doing that IVF stuff because it's, you can't like get pregnant like, or it's hard for you to get pregnant the natural way. So it could be doing like it surgically. Okay, we have expecting to begin in Ten of Swords. Some of you guys could have had a miscarriage, but I'm telling you right now, it's the baby that's coming. I'm hearing somebody could have had a lot of miscarriages, like back to back. I'm sorry to hear that. Or I'm seeing that somebody here, their health wasn't good. Like somebody here didn't take care of their health. I'm getting like somebody here didn't know that they was pregnant and they were still like either drinking alcohol or doing harsh drugs, stuff that they weren't supposed to do. Or I'm seeing here it's like this person that you either could have had a baby by, this person could have abused you physically to the point where something happened to the, the baby inside of you, trigger warning. I'm so sorry to hear that. So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands. Well, I'm seeing here like somebody here could have got jumped on while they was pregnant and the baby ended up passing away. Or well, I'm also getting here that 
the baby ended up making it, but the, the mother passed away because it was too much blood or something like that. It was um, complications. Mm. So I'm seeing here that somebody here, they're going to see you pregnant with somebody else's baby. I feel like it's a karmic care that's, you know, played a victim. Okay, they could have betrayed you. This person is better, okay? And I don't know if this person, they could have went to another karmic relationship and they could have got this person pregnant to make you mad or feel some type of way. And I feel like you don't give no fuck. Like it wasn't meant for you to have a kid about this person. Okay, let's start there. <laughs> um... And I feel like they don't want to have a care about this person for real. Like they really don't like it there. They hate it there. They're not happy. Okay, but this person, they got to do the most to try to sabotage you. You feel me? And I feel like you're not paying this bitch or whoever they got prayed to no attention. I feel like this person is blocked from you. <laughs> from even, even getting close to you, communicating with you, all that. Yeah, because the five ones that this person caused a lot of drama, chaos. Okay, they could have had you in competition with other people. Okay. And it's like they they could have defended these people over you or talked nasty about you to these people. Now I feel like, now I feel like somebody here is betraying this person. So this person probably think that it's a baby that's theirs, but it's not their not their child. It's somebody else's. So somebody could have cheated on their ass and they could be feeling how they made you feel. Because I feel like they could have trusted this person. Okay. And that's crazy, yeah. How this person could trust somebody else that they're using to try to sabotage you. <laughs> like, make it make sense. Like, this person genuinely in love with you. Like, or you in love with them. Like, be for real. <laughs> I feel like it was this connection was built on lies. Okay, I feel like they could have got together to, um, you know, go against you. It could have been up to five different hoes here trying to fight you. Listen to this, this, this masculine here. They like, as long as I'm getting dick, because I feel like this person, they don't have no money. And if they do, that's, that's what they was being used for, their money and their dick. I feel like these bitches... They probably not even coming or having an orgasm and shit like that. They ain't doing the most over this nigga. <laughs> and uh, now I feel like everybody look dumb. They look stupid because you're at peace. You're genuinely happy. You're not bothered. You're unbothered as fuck. Unbothered as fuck. And I feel like somebody here playing here to try to, you know, um, fight you. It failed. And I feel like these people are going against this masculine here because whatever they promised them, this person didn't come through with the promise. Now these bitches looking slow, as y'all should. <laughs> as y'all motherfucking should. And this person, they're in deep regret because they really wanted you. They thought that this was going to get a reaction out of you. They probably wanted you to fight over them or some shit like that. But I feel like exactly you stay centered <laughs> and you are ascending. You're not with none of that drama, that fucking... Deceitful ass, sneaky ass shit. You're not with none of that. You feel me? All these bitches, they're vibrating low. They have no respect for themselves. They're pick -me's. Okay, these people have abandonment issues. They just look for, as long as they feel like somebody's paying them attention or giving them love, quote unquote, they're going to do anything this person says to, to get picked. And I feel like you... You like I said a billion times, you don't give a fuck. Clarify saying centered. I like yourself in the universe. Justice. Yeah, you're gonna justice in the situation, period. Is this somebody that's coming in towards you? They're gonna treat you fairly. See, eight of wands, somebody is coming in, period. This person that could um ride a motorcycle or something like that. What else is saying to align yourself in the universe? Knight of Cups, period. Your knight in shining arm coming through with that cup of love, period. They're ready to charm you, Queen of Cups, in reverse. Mm. Eight of Cups, the Empress. So I feel like this person is trying to 
make you seem like you're not loving, you're not compassionate, you're immature, okay? That you're not loyal, you're loving, okay? They're trying to really tarnish your name. Or they're hoping that whoever that comes to you doesn't treat you right. That's like you you deserve to be in a horrible connection where somebody abuse you, use you, like they did. Somebody here is evil eye, evil eye in your connection. Yeah, they they're hoping that you be so bitter and insecure that you come running back to them. Mm -hmm. Or they feel like you put on a facade, trying to act like you're not like. Um, what's the word? Like you don't like the drama that's going on. Like they think that you trying to put on a front or try to act like the bigger person because you're scared. And I feel like you're not scared. Now, like people be thinking since you don't get them none of your energy or reaction that you're scared or some shit like that. And this bitch, I feel like they could be thinking that too. I feel like they're both talking shit about you to each other. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. That's what the name of this title of this video should be. You don't give a fuck. But I can't just have that on as the title. But, yeah. Yeah, somebody here is hoping that this person cheats on you. And I feel like this is what this ex of yours or this karma go after. People that's insecure, that's naive, gullible, just like them. Can I find this queen of cups on you guys? Or they can have a mother figure here that's talking shit about you. This bitch is a hater. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Swords again. Every, everything is fine. Yeah, this is a karmic mother. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> I feel like this person, they could have seen their mother get abused and deal with narcissists and shit. And this, they, their mother could have stayed with these people and, and act like everything was cool, act like everything was fine. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like these people are so focused on you and what you have going on. It's, it's crazy as fuck. Like, you really have fans out here. And I feel like everything is good for you. Like, this person that could say all the shit they want to say about you. But you know what the fuck going on. And that's all that matters. Now they talking shit. <laughs> And thinking that you're not happy. Somebody thinks that you're not happy, that you're not in love. It's just a, a facade. It's fake. No, bitch. What you got going on, that's a facade. That's fake. The fuck? You got the Ten of Cups and the Temperance. Period. You both align with each other. I feel like you broke a generational curse here. Everything is balanced for you. The fuck? And their life is chaotic. It's all over the place. And they with the, they with the Queen of Cups in reverse. They could be trying to act like they are the ones that's not causing drama and shit but they is they dealing with the bitch that's a shapeshifter just like they ass period clarify fake friends three of cups mm. so these fake friends you could have went out with them a lot or i'm saying it's like y'all could have fell out and you got back cool with them and i feel like you wasn't supposed to do that I feel like you could be either announcing or have announced to these fake friends that you was getting engaged or something like that. Or it's like, I'm saying it's like you're, you're seeing that somebody here was jealous of your success, of your relationship, how everything is just going in your favor. You're blessed. You're highly favored. Okay. And the sun, yeah, how you just happy. Okay. You're bursting in life right now. And it's like, it's, some, it's somebody here, a fake friend or fake friends here that want your life. I'm saying you could have had a fake friend here that tried to either throw themselves at the person that you're in a relationship with or talking to. And this person could have told you. Yeah, I feel like these, these fake friends, they could be struggling financially. And I feel like they're not. I feel like you're wealthy and I feel like these people feel like, you know... 
you owe them something or they deserve something of a piece of your hard work or some shit like that. Like, I feel like these, these fake friends could have called you a lot when they was going through, like, relationship problems and shit like that. And you and you were seeing, like, you know, that you're growing, you're ascending, and you can't have them type of people around you that stand stuck, that's allowing people to treat them any kind of way and shit like that. You feel me? And if they don't understand that, yeah, the star card at the bottom of the deck, the world. If they don't understand that, then, oh, well. Period. But like, if people, you, you like people that's authentic, that's unique, that's not a follower. Okay, that's going to choose themselves first. People that you ain't got to question their motives or be side. You feel me? I feel like you have fake friends here that's sending you um, negative energy. And exes and their new bitches sending you energy, negative energy. So I feel like on a spiritual attack. Or they get with people just to use them for money. Like their relationships are not genuine and shit like that. And, you know, seven of cups. Yeah. Then I tell you, it's a lot of people here. The high priest is I feel like you know who's, who's sending you this negative energy. You're just observing. And that's why I feel like you're cutting everybody off. you just observing how everybody is and their actions and shit like that. You peep shit. You feel me? You can read in between the lines. The lovers and the eight of pentacles. Let me try to find this. It's right here. Yeah. I'm also getting here. There's people here that liked you. But these people, you know, they haven't heard from their past relationships. I feel like you're a high priestess, so you know when you could peep or see straight through people. You know when somebody have to work on themselves. You know when they still are heartbroken from the ex and shit like that. They have trauma and pain and shit that they hold on to. You could see that. But you're you're a high priestess. You're spiritual. You're intuitive. You have hidden knowledge here that you don't tell nobody. You know. And it's like these people that either like you or some shit like that, that you could have like not engaged because you've seen that they still have fucked up ways about them and shit like that. And you was ascending and you can't go backwards. It's like these people, they are mad. They're angry. They could be, you know, talking shit, but who gives a fuck? Again, who gives a fuck? A flying fuck. You don't. I feel like you're, 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 you're about to give the person that you're meant to be with. You're about to come in union. This is divine, true love. Once in a motherfucking lifetime. That's what you're waiting on. And in the meantime, you're working on your career. You can have your own business going on. Or you're either about to start your own business. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles here. And I feel like whatever you do for work, you're very good at it. You're reliable. Okay. You know, you get recognition for it. People fuck with you. And that's all that motherfucking matters. Period. You could have you could have ignored these people that just wanted to you know have sex and shit like you you're not looking for that you don't want a relationship that's just you know motherfucker just want to have sex like you that's not what you want at all yeah, I'm trying to look for this career finance deck and they and they they have I feel like these people they have negative energy on them. They probably could have dealt with motherfucking warlocks and shit that they haven't, you know, got off of them or ended up cycles with. They still probably fucking around with these exes and shit. You know, you ain't got time for none of that. Definitely after the shit that you just went through. Is this the deck right here? Here we go. I think that's all the cards. Hopefully it is, I think. Let's see what is this. And these people are going to see you with your person. I guess they're going to feel some type of way. But once again, who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives two fucks? How do you people fucking feel? And I feel like the cheating ass ex, they're sending you negative energy. And the bitches that they fucking around with, all these people that they fucking around with, these options and shit. 
there they could be sending you negative energy here because they see that this person is so focused on you and so focused on trying to hurt you like you know what the fuck going on you're not stupid and with all this shit going on look what you're doing you're ascending you're a whole fucking high priestess here you have your own business and i feel like it's gonna go extremely well i feel like some of you guys y'all not meant to work for anybody okay some of you guys y'all could be very good at drawing and saving your money i low-key need to work on that i ain't gonna lie <laughs> it's always something that i want it was always something that i have to do i'd be like oh my god so let's see career finance what is my collecting this of career finance spirit guys of one light and the smash is my joke kind of light So we have here Gaia. So it says, spend time with nature to be healed, soothed, and regroup. Protecting a planet, herbalism, livestock, or working with nature could be for you. The universe is working with you, believing in subtle mechanism to guide you. We have growing up. So it says, it's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This message you to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. Period. Some of y'all need to stop relying on other people for money. I don't know if you got a sugar daddy, a sugar mama, but it needs to get to it. Okay? Become independent. It's nothing like having your own and knowing that you worked hard for it, you know? And nobody didn't give it to you because people love throwing shit in your face. You feel me? We have the office. So it says, think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Consider careers in administrative or management roles. Manage your time better in or delegate tasks to be more productive. Okay. Y'all, you see I got these them nails off. I was just like, woo, my nails hurt actually. They're thin as fuck. And I just need a break from nails. But my toes, they always gonna stay done, period. We have goals. So it says, don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This would be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. Focus on creating and managing a budget. Yeah, so I know, I think everybody knows that, you know, it's hard to save money, but if you have to, you have to have that habit, you know, you have to save. Definitely the shit that be going on the rail now, you never know. You need money for a rainy day. You feel me? You have offering. So it says, universe will meet all your needs. Consider having a money altar. Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. We have say yes to the things that you think you can't do. Let me put this in the camera because, you know, we all get discouraged. Okay, we all feel unmotivated at times. But don't never think that you can't do something. No matter how big you may think it is, you can do it. You feel me? Believe in yourself. And, and get out of that energy where you feel like you can't do it, you know? Because what makes you think you can't do something because you don't have the money or what, you know? Because it's, it's always a way. You got to improvise, you know? If you really want something, you're going to improvise. We have partnerships. So it says build relationships that can help you increase business profits. You don't, you don't have to... Do it alone. Make use of available resources. You may receive money or an offer from someone you know. Because with me, when I started my YouTube channel, I think I had like an iPhone, what was that, 12? Yeah. And you know how people be saying like you need like that, that good camera, you know. But me, I'm like, I'm finna start off with my phone. Like, I don't care. And I started off with one tarot deck, which is this deck that I won. That's how I started my readings off. Okay, I didn't even have a setup or nothing. I just, I remember I did it in the living room and yeah, on the couch. <laughs> and I had like a little, it was like a little table or some shit like that. And I started my YouTube channel, you know, because I really wanted to do it. I didn't care if I had a good ass camera or a ring light. I didn't even have a ring light at the time. The sunlight was my ring light. So, you know, you have to improvise. You got to get to it. Okay. We have fear. So it says, overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require to step out your comfort zone to achieve the abundance you desire. 
Yeah, so fear, I feel like fear is like the main thing that people, that stop people from getting what they need to get. If they feel like they're going to fail or look stupid, you have to go for it. You know, we have reconsider a decision. So some of you guys need to read a, reconsider a decision when it comes to your finances. Only you would know that. I feel like your intuition is telling you that. Like you probably like keep, you feel like you want to buy something. But you're like, no, don't do it. And you're just like, I don't even have to buy this for real. You know, I'm just buying shit. You feel me? Or it could be something else. We have unreliable. There is some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises and not paying on time. Expect the money may not materialize. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You guys need to save. That's that's the main reason why you need to save. Because I feel like you probably either be giving to people too much. Over giving to people too much. And they don't pay you when they need to pay you. Or they don't pay you at all. These people probably, you know, block you or avoid you. You feel me? Like, you need to stop giving your money and shit like that to people. That definitely don't come through for you when you need it. I don't care if you just met this person, this person fine as hell. No. The answer is no. And that's all it should be to it. If they say why, oh, no. That's all it is. We have be a sport. You are being asked to have more fun or focus on being a team player. You could be great at any sports careers or in the field of health and fitness. Improve your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations. What else? We have change. So it says, there is a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see change, you must see the change. What else? Yeah, you can start with you first. So it says there is something better. So yeah, there's something better for you regarding work, I feel like. Some of you guys probably have been selling at a job, but you either about to get a better opportunity coming your way. We have luck. So it says your luck is about to change for the better. You could be you could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Yeah, so that's good to hear. We have entertainers. So it says, put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment. Is there a time you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. We have here, take action. Yes. Spirit is saying, right now. Okay. <laughs> It says, whatever your question, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step to get to get ahead. Just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let the opportunity, opportunity pass you by. And we have here, it says motivator. So it says, there is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. You may be in need of motivation yourself or needing inspiration. We have unfulfilled. So it says, you can have an, um, an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you. Explore your wants and needs and consider a change. You're unhappy with your income, but too scared to make any changes. Okay? So, you got this, Aquarius. Okay? Don't, don't, don't be unmotivated okay you know just take baby steps okay just take baby steps don't put so much on you to the point you come overwhelmed you just shut down and you know get in that mode where you're just like i can't do it because you can't okay so i hope this video gave you guys a lot of credit if it did don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe now see you guys in my next video bye